Morning Williamsport. I'm Anna Von Stewart. And I'm Connor Hensler. Delivering you your morning announcements. Please turn your TVs to channel 99 and conduct your opening exercise. Today is Wednesday, September 21st, and that means it's Word of the Day Wednesday. Today's Word of the Day is Wikiit. Turn into the end of the announcement. Tune into the end of the announcements to find out what Wikiit means. For news around our school, Picture Day is next week and will take place during your English class. Listen closely. The schedule is as follows: On Monday, freshman class and seniors in Mrs. Moore's English classes. On Tuesday, sophomore class and seniors in Mrs. Marzacco's English classes. On Wednesday, junior class and seniors in Dr. Weaver's English classes. Friday is picture makeup day. The Gay Straight Alliance, also known as GSA Club, strives to create a safe environment at WAHS where students can support each other, educate the school community about homophobia, transphobia, gender identity, sexual orientation issues, as well as fight discrimination, harassment, violence, and other forms of bullying at WAHS. If you are interested in checking out this club, they meet during Second Bank on Thursdays in F213. Please see Mrs. Nardella to get a pass. All students interested in learning more about science, engineering, and technology are invited to attend the STEM club meeting on Thursday during First Bank. They will meet in H108. Please see Mr. Sarge if you need a pass. This year, they will be forming a Technology Student Association chapter that will allow them to compete in exciting engineering and design competitions against regional high schools. Attention all senior girls who are interested in Powder Puff. There will be a mandatory meeting in Mrs. Cipriani's room, C-108, on Thursday during Bank B. All senior guys who are interested in Powder Puff cheerleading, there will be a mandatory meeting immediately after school on Thursday in Mrs. Cipriani's room, C-108. There will be a brief meeting for all girls interested in playing softball this year, all girls interested in playing basketball this year, and all boys and girls interested in swimming or diving this year on tomorrow, September 22nd at 11.45 a.m. during First Bank in the auditorium. Attention all members of the Junior Executive Board. Our first meeting will be held in Mrs. Swink's room during Bank on September 22nd. If you are looking to have some fun and meet new people in the world of theater, Come on down to TO4, the Black Box, after school this Friday to try out for Williamsport's own Famous Without a Q improv troupe. Hey juniors and seniors, it's time once again for the college fair at Lycoming College. This year, there are approximately 70 colleges attending the fair to be held in Lomity Gym at Lycoming College. College night is Thursday, September 29th at 6.30 p.m., and a list of schools is available from the guidance office. Any student interested in forming an Odyssey of the Mind team, please see Mrs. Moore in E110 as soon as possible. Attention to any junior interested in graphic design or commercial arts. Your Powder Puff team is looking for a new logo this year and wants to see what you've got. Please submit all designs to Mrs. Swink's room in F119, either drawn or printed on a sheet of paper. All designs are due today. And in the world of sports, the Williamsport Millionaires soccer team played an away game against Sealands Grove Area High School Seals yesterday. The boys won by a score of 3-0. Senior Kalachi Pombor, junior Gabe McKeon, junior Tiernan Ferry scored with the, with the assists from junior Caden Fisher, senior Kalachi Pombor, and junior Dylan Garner. The Millionaire golf team suffered difficult losses at their match at White Deer yesterday. These losses have eliminated the Linksters from playoff contention. However, there were two pieces of good news to report. William Canout was able to defeat all golfers with a three under par score. And Sarah Litch shot a personal best, 110, in her first high school match. Congrats, Will and Sarah. The Millionaire Guys cross country team suffered a tough loss to Milton, but were victorious against Hughesville and Central Columbia. Tyler Holcomb, Nate Casper Miller, Riley Holcomb, Jared Thompson, Evan Barone, Cody Spiegel, and Ethan Fisher were the top team finishers. The Lady Millionaire cross country team left their opponents in the dust and continued their undefeated season now 10-0. Mary McMahon, Lydia Smith, Nazira Purnell, Lauren Early, Kaylee Early, Sharon Engel, and Amy Fisher all crushed it, crushed it in the top 14 finishers. Great job, ladies. And the upcoming sports for this week are as follows. The girls' next soccer game is today, Wednesday, against Sealands Grove. 
For news in the guidance office, attention all Upward Bound students. Upward Bound will have its first meeting this Thursday in the guidance conference room immediately after school. If you have any questions about Upward Bound, please see Mrs. Hunsinger in the guidance office. The weather for today is sunny with a high of 84 and a low of 54. For today's lunch menu, today's tasty choices are hot ham and cheese melt on a pretzel bun, crispy tater tots, sliced strawberries, and fat-free milk. Today's word of the day is wikiit, and it means someone who believes that all information found on Wikipedia is accurate and true. That's all we have for today. Keep, Keep it, it rich, rich millionaires. millionaires. Be present, be respectful, be responsible, and be professional.